Accept graciously. So I recently went to an internet cafe because I had a big problem. I had this meeting that was coming up and my internet had gone down before on them and I didn't want the internet to go down again when I had this meeting. So I thought I'm gonna go to an internet cafe, make sure that I have solid internet, I won't have any problems. Then uh, Jay Rise, friend of the channel, suggested I go to a place near him and he introduced me to the, his friend that ran the place, let's call him Marty. Marty was great, gave us everything we needed. We were there for two hours each. He charged us way less than he normally would because of his friendship with Jay Rise. And best of all, the call that I had with my client went really well. The internet was stable, no issues, everything was fantastic. When I was leaving, I wanted to show my appreciation to Marty. I wanted to really thank him for the help that he gave me. You know, this was an important business day for me and the fact that he charged me $8 or something just wasn't anywhere close to the value that I received. He wasn't willing to take more money and so I said, you know what, you've got these snacks behind the counter. Here's 20 bucks, give me $20 worth of snacks and I'll give them to Jay Rise to eat to thank him too for making that introduction. And he said no. And he said no because he felt like I didn't need to do that for him because he felt like he just wanted to provide great service. And I think a lot of entrepreneurs, you might fall into the same trap. You might fall into the trap of, of trying to over deliver on service, which I totally agree with, but you're cheating your customers an opportunity to feel good about themselves too. For me, giving the $20 to Marty made me feel good. Right? It made me feel like I could appreciate him in another way and it also would make Jay Rice feel good because he's got some extra snacks to leave home with and, and you know, fill his belly with. And so everybody loses in this scenario. Here's Marty thinking that he's doing everybody a favor. Meanwhile, I don't get the satisfaction of being able to do something good for him. I don't get the satisfaction of Jay Rice having some snacks. J. Rise doesn't get the satisfaction of having things in his belly and being happy too. And so this was a potential win, win, win where Marty collapsed it and turned it into something that only he's winning at. And I want you to understand the difference because when people offer help, you don't always have to feel like you could do everything yourself. You don't always have to be the person giving. And by them giving to you, it makes them feel good too. It's not all about you. And so the next time that you have an opportunity to accept graciously, I encourage you to take it and stop staying in your head and think about by them helping you, they're getting value as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'd love to know in the comments a story that you guys might have about accepting graciously, whether you have accepted something from somebody else or refused to accept something. Share it in the comments below. I'm really curious to find out and I'm gonna join in the discussion. Thank you so much for watching. Continue to believe and I'll see you soon.